I messed up a little bit. This particular Debenhams does not sell plus sizes specifically in store. We already need to be down in the lobby now, so I am trying to make sure that Kristen's outfit works. Erica and I have a secret. I hope it goes okay. It's every plus size person's nightmare. You travel to a fabulous location, but your suitcase gets lost along the way. Oh, just go and buy new clothes, your thinner friends might say, because they don't know that if you're above a certain size, your chances of finding clothes that fit are small. Well, I'm about to turn the nightmare into a dream come true. I'm gonna visit eight cities with just the clothes I'm wearing. Then I'm gonna try and find a day look and a night look to explore the city. Will I be too nude to leave the hotel? Woo! It's the Empty Suitcase Show, and we're about to find out. It's the season finale, baby. Season finale. And we're going to Edinburgh. 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 Jador Scotland. Jador Scotland. We do Jador Scotland. We do Jador Scotland. We're going there right now. Yeah, we're going to have some uh, Scotch. Scots. Well, we might. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's how you know the temperature is good. Welcome to Edinburgh. We're never gonna pronounce that right. Uh -uh. We're trying to pronounce it right. Edinburgh. Is that not, close? Not, yeah. 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 Views are incredible. What am I looking at? Your reflection. This is like one of the most beautiful hotel rooms I've ever been. <laughs> now I'm gonna have to have a party. Ooh. Ooh, I made us not do the last episode. The last one is just Kristen at the party, whatever. <laughs> to the season finale of Empty Suitcase. It is our last stop, a city that neither you nor I have ever been in before. Mm -hmm. It's our first time. It's kind of sad. I know. We'll have to make the most of our time together. Okay. As I ask in every single episode of Empty Suitcase, mm -hmm. how difficult do you think it is to plus size shop here in Edinburgh, Scotland? I have no idea. So to give you an idea of yeah. how difficult it is to plus size shop here in Edinburgh, we have put together another not so scientific <laughs> anecdote. Nice. So we looked at five major shopping centers around Edinburgh, and we identified 39 stores that sell women's clothing. Guess how many of those stores sell a size 20, which is my size, or above? There's only 39? 39! Okay. Ooh, okay, this is gonna be tight. Um, nice. Nice. <laughs> I'm gonna go with seven. Oh, you were very close. The answer is nine. Nine? I know, actually. It's gotten to the point where we're like, nine? nine? It's like if you get food poisoning and you think it's gonna last for 39 hours and instead it only lasts nine. For nine. nine. <laughs> yeah. As I say in every episode of Empty Suitcase, the fact that I'm even able to make this show at all is a privilege. I am a size 20, making me like a small mid-fat. If I was much larger than this, this show would be very difficult to make, if not impossible. So today, we are going to go to Debenhams. Mm -hmm. Debenhams is different than any other store we have gone to this season because Debenhams is a department store. Oh, cool. Which means that I don't know what kind of options we're going to get today. <laughs> Listen, if we can't find any clothing options, we could just buy bed sheets. Yeah, that would be hot. All right, you ready to go shopping? I'm very ready. Let's go shopping. Let's go shopping. For the last time this season. We just walked by a coffee shop called Italian Mound. Just, oh. Both of us! <laughs> <Same>. <laughs> We're here at We're Debenhams. Here. This particular Debenhams does not sell plus sizes specifically in store. It does have some sizes that are extended up to a UK 22, and in some cases a 24. So, treasure hunt. I think that like a lot of fat women are very familiar with this kind of treasure hunt. We are the pirates of every store we go into. Anyway, you wanna go shopping? Then, yes. <laughs> We're a little jet lagged. She said, we can't use that as an excuse so for whole shoot. I don't pay my taxes. Ooh, I'm real jet lagged. So jet <laughs> what do you think of this? I'm gonna reach over your shoulders. I think she looks good. I know I've done some like baggier fitting things. This is also a 20, so it's like an American 16. Okay. So I feel like we're gonna lean into that. Sure. Give me that, Goral. Thank you. You're my loyal carrier lady. You're like, this is my favorite part. <laughs> Ooh, look at this gorgeous girl. Mmm, eggplant parmesan. <laughs> and I am the cheese. <laughs> we've been in Edinburgh for about a day, and what we've learned so far is that 
It's cold and it's raining. So I need a coat. Yeah, you 100% need a coat. Maybe even three. Do you think I could get this on my little body? No, no, yes. I heard a yes. Yeah. All I, all I heard was yes. Ow. What is in my head? Okay, I was like, did I attack you no. with my greatness? It's sort of like it is very beautiful. a bloody penny. It's really soft too. Mm -hmm. well, I mean, that was my so <laughs> Ooh, Edinburgh. How do we feel about like full length sweater? I love it. I put those sweaters on my rack. I do quite like the texture of this lady. I like the texture too. It was like she was a cheerleader, but now she's an accountant. Gotta pay those bills. What? Gotta pay those bills. Gotta pillow those bills. Gotta, yeah. Woo, the jet lag. You're gonna be blaming things on jet lag until you die. Yeah. We haven't let me get any sequins this season. Ooh, whoa, this is gorge. And this is a 22, which is an American 18, which is a little small for me, but it is a wrap dress. I realize that most of the things I don't pick in these shows are practical, but follow me here for a moment. Yeah. What if I bought something warm? Um, I would love that. So that I would stop stealing your coat. Yeah, I would love you to be warm. <laughs> You'd think we'd be doing the yellows here, but no, we're doing the golden rods. Oh my God. It's a different kind of yellow. It's honey mustard versus like barbecue mustard. No, it isn't. That's not real. Why would you talk about honey mustard in that way? I don't like honey mustard that much. <gasps> you don't like honey mustard? Yeah. What if I just did like this guy and this guy together? They're gonna be really cute with yeah. a nice coat. It is an option. It's an option. Oh, uh, flowers. This, it's 22. It might be tight. We can try and make it work. Cause all of us have been in situations where it's like, this is the store we have. I gotta go to a relative's funeral in two hours. And I spilled marinara sauce all over my black dress. Marinara, marinara, marinara. <laughs> marinara. Is that it? Yeah, marinara. Marinara. Mar Marijuana sauce. Marijuana sauce. This is a jet lag. Marinara sauce on black, I actually think could work. So this is a UK 22, which is a US 18, which is a little bit too small as well. I feel like I tend to go a little bit bigger on skirts that are fitted like this because I don't want people to see my stomach, but I feel like we've made, what, three million videos? Yeah. I think people know what I look like. At some point, I need to get over that. Why am I holding this like this? How are you, what did you, Tripped over the dress. What did you trip on? I didn't mean to. It's what I appreciate nice. that is that it's actually a shift dress that comes with a wrap component. You could tie this around the front, you could tie this around the back, you could tie this around Jen in case she's running away. I'm not four anymore. <laughs> you know when I was talking about pattern mixing earlier? Yeah. I was thinking this with this. Oh! Because house, both Houndstooth and animal prints, I feel like are neutrals. And so you put two neutrals together, you get an outfit. I love that. I know people who don't feel confident pattern mixing. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Do you have something to contribute I'm sorry. to the conversation? I have a cold. It's jet lag. She's pretty. I found her in a 22. Wow, Ooh. she's like the color of mold wine. She's the color of mold wine, which is really good because I will spill that all over her. I found something in my size. Ooh! It's the UK 24, which is the US 20. I'm looking for something that's a little tailored, but a little bit less ladylike than my London look. Are you just like making friends with my coat? I like her. I like this dress a lot. It only comes in a equivalent of a US 16. So listen, my feeling on clothes is this. Clothes are here to serve you. You're not here to serve your clothes. So however you can get the clothes to fit to make it work for you, do it. Thank you for this public service announcement from the Clothes Should Serve You Council. Also, I grabbed this because it's like, it is a 20, but it's also kind of billowy. Yeah. Billowy is gonna help me here. Let's go to lingerie. I know it's very cold, but I was thinking maybe I could use this as like a night top. Oh, I just realized that the side has uh, open slits, so. Hit me gonna... with the slits, girl. We're gonna be wearing this with a coat. <laughs> or maybe not. Maybe not. Ooh. It's sexy hot. We found a lot of stuff. We did. We should try it on. We should. We should find out what fits. Yep, that's important. <laughs> Let's bounce. Come on, Kristen. Okay. Show me outfit number one, girl. Ooh. I'm Kristen Cherico, and this is Masterpiece Theater. It's like the same color as like very beautiful curtains. The thing about this coat is that it's a little too small, but if we belt her in. This is an effective coat from like the boobs up. However, the dress is a UK 20, which is a US 16. She fits. She's good. You know how they say that a mouse can get into a building through like a dime sized opening? Mm -hmm. Well, if the straight size people insist on making these like big oversized clothes, I am gonna get through that hole. <laughs> All right, next. Oh, this is a cute coat. I know. These buttons are so cute. I know. I was also, thinking, it seems like it would be warm. It's very warm. It closes. Nice. I think this is also meant to be oversized, which again, we're gonna slip in through that keyhole. Also, we have this little dress. It's sort of a snakeskin situation. It also buttons around the collar, but we're not gonna do that. This also works as a really good infinity scarf. 
<laughs> so infinity it covers me all the way down to here. Ooh, I'm posing very precariously. <laughs> Get back in there, girl. Mm-hmm. I'm here with my coat and my skirt and my top. The coat obviously is the right size. Uh-huh. The top is the right size. The skirt is a tit bit small. This coat is flashy, and I think this coat deserves a little bit more oomph than oh. what this shirt is giving it. How about I just put like two disco balls right here? I mean, yeah, I'd love that. Okay. But it's not that kind of show. Next! Next! <laughs> Ow. Don't hurt yourself. I know. Um, okay, another pleasant surprise in the fit Ooh, department. Um, stress. I don't know how I feel about like these two things together. Kind of feels like I'm wearing my boyfriend's jacket. A little bit, yeah. But the real star of the show is this slip dress. Yeah. It's red. It's nice. It's shiny. Oh, this dress is so cute. Really? Yeah. Wait, like I her? love these colors. Really? Yeah. I love the, like the asymmetrical pattern and I love the orange. This is cool. This We're feels seeing... like a very Scottish look. Oh, uh, well, it's because it has a coat. Yeah. So the thing about this dress, it's a UK 20. Yeah. So it fits. The belt is a little bit tight. I also don't need the belt. It's cute without it. Really? Oh, okay. So I can just take away the belt. Yeah. You don't need it if you don't want to wear it. Yeah. Make it work for you. This shirt is actually supposed to be fastened around the neck, but I didn't like that, so I left it unfastened. It's cute. So now it's a little cowl. This coat is gorgeous. This is a oh. beautiful coat. I think this is a little bit too master's degree and a little bit less spring I've break. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not just Paddington, I'm Paddington too. What's the situation underneath? So underneath, I thought you'd never ask. I have this little pleated skirt and this sweater. I love the sweater. You know, literally anything that will show off puppies. I like the just, texture, I think it looks cute. I, wanna, I don't love the hem either. I just wanna take some scissors and just cut it. Come on out, Griffin. Okay. Griffin. In case you don't know where my boobs are, I've lit the way. I feel like I've tried on dresses like this before. They're a little bit too tight down here. And I appreciate that this has a very don't look at the man behind the curtain vibe. Most of my design aesthetic comes from the third act of The Wizard of Oz. Yeah. The part where she goes home. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, spoiler! <laughs> so we're all done shopping at Debenhams. That's amazing. I know, we did it. We did it. Thank you so much to Ash and Steven here. They were both really helpful in helping us find some cute pieces. Thanks for coming on our treasure hunt. And now we're going on a hunt of our own. For food. For food. Yeah, we're hungry. Yeah, right, let's go. Who's gonna lunch please now? Mike is about to come up to do my getting ready shots, but Erica and I have a secret. After I chose my day look yesterday at Debenhams, I was like, eh, I don't know if this is the one. And then I saw something in the accessories department that made me go, we should throw out the whole thing and just start over. And so Erica and I secretly put together a completely different day look in like 10 minutes that no one else has seen. No one, <laughs> just us. This is gonna be the first look of the season where no one will have seen it before you all get to see it too. Michael. Kristen. It's time for me to get ready for my day look. What's your day look, Kristen? You haven't seen my day look, you have no idea. I was trying to trick you into telling me. <laughs> I know, it's gonna be a complete surprise to you. In fact, you're not allowed in that room over there because that's where it is. But, but. I know, time to amp up the anticipation with three insert shots. <laughs> Goodbye. Oh, goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Ah. See you a little bit. Okay. Kisses. about to reveal her look. It's a little bit of a busy street. Still gonna be great. Here I come. Oh, God, <laughs> Most of this was crafted and founded in the accessories department of Debenhams. Nice. And then I just kind of like put together a little pencil skirt look underneath it. Oh wow, you do like Scottish as <laughs> Oh my god, I love this. It's right? very Sherlock Holmes. Mm -hmm but like gayer. Oh, wait, so you basically changed up the entire yes. look. Ah, that's why we ate at 4 p.m. yesterday. We did. <laughs> I'm sorry. Whatever, it's worth it, it's worth it. You look great, this is amazing. It's time for our day activity. Okay. We are at the Scotch Whiskey Experience where we're about to do a tour. Let's do it, okay. Our barrel awaits. It's like a keg stand, kind of. Yeah, except we're sitting in it. Thank you so Here much. We go. It's so exciting. Thank oh. you. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> Triggering Jen's trip to Phobia a little bit. When does it become Scotch whiskey? We're about to find out. What was once nothing more than barley and water magically matures into Scotch whiskey. Mm, Scotch is a milk. <laughs> uh. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's like that moment in Beauty and the Beast when Belle sees the library and she is like, because it just kind of keeps going up and up and up.
we're doing a little appreciation society tour on the, some scotch whiskeys mm -hmm. now the tour has ended. So we get to taste a little bit more than we did earlier. Yes. So the first one is, what is this? It's the Lowland. Okay. In order to smell it in a way where you don't smell the burn, you kind of have to do the zoom goes the airplane <laughs> thing that you do for babies yeah. when you're trying to get them to eat solid food. I'm gonna be a drunk baby. <laughs> so it's supposed to be gentle, sweet, and spicy on the nose with refreshing and creamy mouthfeel, developing citrus notes in the finish. Creamy mouthfeel. <laughs> Mm. That is really light. I actually quite enjoy Ooh, that. I like that a lot too. This space eye is a little smoky. We haven't drunk her yet. She's definitely more intense than the other two. Actually, I mean, the finish is like Christmas. So this is the smokiest one. It really is have a, a pale gold color, which is what it says on the sheet. <laughs> it smells like Winnie the Pooh's house, full of honey and indulgence <laughs> and no pants. <laughs> nah, I need a no pants dance. Jen is becoming progressively less shelf stable. <laughs> Thank you so much to the Scotch Whiskey Experience for hosting us. We have had a fantastic time. I would stay here forever, but unfortunately, I have a job. Like a chump. Are you just making fun of me? Slanjava! <laughs> Slanjava! Hello, and welcome to our last activity of Empty Suitcase Season 1. No! Which I'm about to get ready for. One last time. I messed up a little bit. I told Kristen she could use my steamer to iron out the wrinkles of her outfit tonight, but then my steamer fried because I forgot about voltage differences. And then I tried using her iron and I drenched the ironing board. So now I'm in Erica's room using Erica's ironing. We already need to be down in the lobby now, so I am trying to make sure that Kristen's outfit works. Hope it goes okay. Turns out Erica actually knows how to iron better than I do, so <laughs> we're making it happen. I'm also carefully framing this so you can't see the outfit. No, 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 no. It's evening time and it's time for our night activity, which means Kristen's going to reveal her night look to me. I'm very excited. Kristen, come on into the near the giant face. You want me to come near the giant face? Near the for the last nice. time, you're gonna wave me in. Come on in. Hi, I'm coming to the party. <laughs> so this all obviously came from Devin. I've got this big oversized houndstooth coat, this little slip dress, white combat oh boots. Oh my God. <laughs> well, also I have this purse too. I didn't notice those until just now. Those are so <laughs> cool. Are you ready for our last night activity? I'm sad, but ready. We're gonna go to the cellar door for dinner. It's down the street. Ooh. And the reason why it's down the street is because my shoes are not broken in. So I'm not gonna be able to walk far. All right, hell yeah. Let's go to dinner. All right. Come on, don't, don't. I really you, wanna kick these. Don't kick the ornament. If you break it, you buy it. We saw two dogs on the street <laughs> and we like wanted to like hang out and cuddle with them. Like what if the night activity was just us hanging out with two dogs outside a fish and chip shop? <laughs> this dinner's gonna be lovely and yes. wonderful, but so were those dogs. We are here at the lovely cellar door. Yes. Aren't we, Jen? We are at this lovely door. <laughs> and we are going to be doing a tasting menu of Scottish foods. Uh-huh. It's called the Taste of Scotland. I'm doing- What? <laughs> you spit all over me. <laughs> 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 the taste of what? <laughs> I'm gonna be doing the drinks pairing, Jen is not, because Jen does not need it. Yeah, I don't need it. Anyway, we're gonna do this tasting menu. It's gonna be exquisite. It's gonna be exquisite for fans. It's gonna be s squirt. <laughs> Ew. <Okay>. What? <laughs> the canopy course. It's salmon mousse with a pickled carrot. I eat it. Just, just, that. just eat it. Just go for it. What's going on? It's really good. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Uh oh. Yeah, see, that's why I ate it the way I did. To avoid difficulties. <laughs> Even if you don't like salmon, you're gonna like this. It's red wine, Jew, nips and tatties, and haggis. I've not had haggis yet. Was it good? Mm-hmm. You didn't have to do it. You already had me, but Scotland, you have me again. It feels like a shepherd's pie, except made of things that like I've never heard of before. This is a Cullen skink risotto, which like sounds a little bit like... Skank? Yeah. <laughs> it does. Is there cheese too, or is this an egg? It's a poached egg. Oh, it's a poached egg? Mm -hmm. <gasps> Egg. It's like a chowder, but like a risotto. Mmm. It's good. Oh. Anyway, we're eating a venison. We got like some acid. We, shut up. I'm not gonna talk some, about food. We shut got up. some salt, we got some fat, we got some acid, we got some heat. It's like a bouquet of things that actually I might remember tasting in the morning, even mm -hmm. though these are very big pores. This is like a mom-sized wine glass. What do you think, Jen Jen? I quite like it. I have some Robert Burns whiskey, and I also have this cheesecake. It's cheesecake. There's a lot of stuff oh, in the bottom, so I'm trying to get all of it. I love it when a cheesecake has layers. You need the fruit in this, but it is so refreshing and delicious. Listen, if I don't make it home, that's okay. Just ship my computer out here. <laughs> I've just been eating a whole. <laughs> that's what you said. 
This has been a lovely night. I'm not gonna cry. Cause Mike came up and said this is the last one of the season and I started to cry. So then we had to wrap this up really fast so that I wouldn't stop crying into my dessert because salt would unbalance the dessert. <laughs> Honestly, I truly don't feel like I realized how good Scottish food was until I ate here. I was like, yeah, it's uh, it's meat and potatoes and whatever. Didn't know haggis was good. Mm -hmm. Didn't know how good venison was. Didn't know how good salmon mousse was. Didn't know how good nips and tatters were. Didn't know how... <laughs> I mean, I knew, but... <laughs> I mean, I feel like that's how you describe every woman you interact with. <laughs> it's the season finale! It's over! It's done now! Look at Scotland in the background! Look at it! Wow, we had a really fun time. We did. It was honestly a gorgeous time. I did a total pivot. I surprised you. You did surprise me. I surprised Mike. I surprised the sweet baby Kelly. I did not surprise Erica. Erica was there the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, like we were a little surprised about the sizing. We made it work. We were greatly assisted by the fact that straight-sized people are really into oversized stuff right now. <laughs> Your oversized is someone else's size. <laughs> just a heads up. You call something oversized, you're really just saying, I'm wearing something that's several sizes bigger. Thanks so much to the Radisson Collection Hotel, Royal Mile, Edinburgh, Debenhams, the Scotch Whiskey Experience, and the Cellar Door. Y'all were so awesome. Thank you so much for having us. So I have to thank Jen, and also thank you to Devin and Freddie for joining me. But mostly Jen. But mo <laughs> also we have to thank the people who are hanging out behind the camera right now. We have to thank Kelly. Thank Kelly. Kelly! Kelly! We thank Erica, our fantastic line producer. Erica! And of course, the other person I have to thank is the person holding this camera right now. Michael! Michael! Thank you, Michael! This is the last shot of season one of a piece of case. All right, so we gotta make it count. Yeah, we gotta make it count. <laughs> Boobs out! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> <Free break! laughs>